hello today i'll teach you how to find if a number is a strong number so let me first explain what a strong number is so let's say we have a number say 145 if we take each digit and you find the factorial of that digit that is 1 factorial which is equal to 1 and you take and you do the same for all the digit take factorial 4 factorial that is 24 now you take the last digit you find the factorial this 5 factorial which is equal to 120 and you if you add all these three values and if this The result is equal to the actual number. You can see it is equal to one forty five, and the sum of the factorial of each digits is also equal to one forty five. So in this case, we will call this one forty five as a strong number. So now let's just convert this into a program. So first, we need to take each digits separately. that will be our first step then finding the factorial of each digit will be our second step then adding them up will be our third step and finally we will compare it with the original value so this will be our approach so we have let's say n as 145 how do you take the digits from an any number so we will use mod 10 so if you use n mod 10 this will give you the last digit of the number so this will give you as 5 as the output now this digit we have to find the factorial so now we'll call a function i'll tell you how to write this function inside this factorial function we will pass this 5 now this will return a value of 120 that is 5 factorial now this value we will store it in some value say sum sum equal to sum plus this value now next step is since we have used this 5 we don't need this 5 anymore we need 4 so we will just eliminate this 5 by doing n equal to n modulus sorry we'll do n equal to n by 10 this will basically divide 145 by 10 and the output which it will give is 14.5 and since 14.5 is a float value but n is of type int it will consider only the integer part so after doing this n will be 14 now we will repeat this process again now it will be 14 mod 10 14 mod 10 will give us the value 4 now we will pass this 4 into the function called fact or factorial function now this will return a value of 24 now we have already added 120 in the variable sum now we will add 24 also so now sum will become 120 plus 24 it will become 144 and we'll keep on repeating this finally we will end up with some value in sum now we will check if the value present in sum the value present in sum is equal to a initial value if it is equal we will say yes it is strong number else we will say it is not a strong number okay this is our approach now let me explain what this factorial function will do actually i have a separate video explaining how to find factorial of any number but in this video i will give a brief idea about how to find factorial so we already know if we say 5 factorial it means 
into four into three into two into one. This is five factorial. So all we need to do is we have to run a for loop, which will start from this number i equal to say n, and it shall go up to one or even two because it is multiplication. So I'll say n is greater than zero, and then i minus minus. If we run this loop and we keep on multiplying i f as factorial and we'll say f equal to f into i so first time n is 5 and 5 will be multiplied in f next time it is i minus minus so i will become 4 now 4 will be multiplied here again i minus minus then 3 will be multiplied and after this loop f will be having the factorial of the given number okay and this we will be returning to this line so let me just write the program it will be more clear to you we have int n as 145 we will create another variable called strong in which we will store this instead of sum i am using the variable called strong and initially it will be 0 I will create one more variable called temp. I will use this temp to store the last digit of the given number. Also, I will create one more variable to store this n so that we can use it to compare at the end. Okay, so, I will say copy equal to n. The reason we need copy is, you can see if here we are modifying n as n by 10. So each time n will be reduced by one digit. So after running the program, if you try to compare the sum with the original number, the original number has been modified. So you won't get the desired output. So we are keeping the original number safe inside copy. So this is the loop until n is greater than 0 we are going to remove one digit so I'll say temp equal to n by 10 so now temp will get the last digit now what we have to do we have to find the factorial of the last digit so I'll call the function fact and pass the number and the value which it will be returning let me just store it in say integer x so now x will be having the factorial of the digit which we have taken now i'll add this factorial into the variable strong i'll say strong equal to strong plus x now I have to eliminate the last digit. I'll do n equal to n by 10. I hope you understood what I'm doing here. I'm taking the last digit. I'm calling the function which will find the factorial of the digit and return it to x. Now I'll use this x to st store it in the variable called strong because that is what we have to do, right? We have to take a number. We have to find the factorial and add it so this is what i'm doing here i will write the code for this function later on now after this while loop is done we will be having some value in strong okay now we have to check if this value is equal to the original value which we already have we have kept the original value safe in the variable copy so we'll do if copy is equal to strong we will print that it is a strong number else if they are not same it will mean that it is not a strong number so this function ends here now let me define this function okay we are going to return a value of type int so i'll say 
int function name is fact and this value we have to receive over here let's say int y and inside this we have to find the factorial of this number and we have to return it so i just explain how we have to find the factorial so i'll create a temporary variable let's say int f equal to 1 this i'll be using to multiply so i'll say 4 for detailed explanation of how to find factorial i have a video i'll put the link in the description and i equal to y i should be greater than 0 you can also put 1 over here say i minus minus so inside this for loop we do f equal to f into i so after this loop is done f will have the factorial of y so we will return f so that's all now this factorial will be received over here and then it will be added over here so if you learned something from this video please leave a like and consider subscribing to my channel thank you